Hi, I'm Ben, the sales manager here at Crunch, and today I'm going to be explaining IR35 in under two minutes. IR35 is a tax law introduced to combat tax avoidance by workers supplying their services to clients via an intermediary, such as a limited company who would otherwise be an employee. It's important to remember that each assignment needs to be assessed individually, and if HMRC deem your contract to be inside of IR35, then the rules will apply. HMRC are going to expect you to pay the correct income tax and national insurance if your contract is deemed inside of IR35. If you're a personal service company, you need to make sure you understand the IR35 rules and whether they apply to all of your assignments. Otherwise, you run the risk of a lengthy and time-consuming tax investigation. If you're investigated by HMRC and you're found to be inside of IR35, then you potentially have to to pay backdated income tax and national insurance on top of a fine. So who decides if the IR35 rules apply? Well, it really depends on who your end client is. If your client's in the public sector, then they're responsible for deciding your employment status. If your client's in the private sector, then for now, that decision lies with you, the personal service company. But from the 6th of April, most private sector assignments, the responsibility is gonna be with the end client. Now the rules are complex and built up over years of employment case law, so they can be difficult to understand. But HMRC used three key criteria when trying to determine your I-35 status. So firstly, does your client determine what you do and how, when, and where you complete your day-to-day -day work? This is known as control. Are you required to carry out the work yourself or can you send someone in your place? This is known as personal service. And finally, is your client obliged to offer you work and are you obliged to accept it? This is known as mutuality of obligation. Now, if you don't think you fall inside of IR35, then you're gonna to need to demonstrate that these rules don't apply to both your contract and your working practices. If you need help with this, we have an independent IR35 contractor tool which helps you determine if you're at risk of IR35 as well as a raft of products that help contractors whatever their situation. Our jargon-free IR35 business guide can give you more detail and explanation. Simply visit crunch.co.uk forward slash IR35 for more IR35 help.